So this is a follow-up call to a lead that my agent met at an open house a couple weeks ago, actually a couple months ago, um, and he's been following up, following up. So let's get right into it. Hello? Hey. Yeah. Hello? What's up, man? How you doing, man? Thank you for the Keystone team. From who? From the Keystone team, the real, the real estate agent. I spoke to you. Uh, oh, how you, how you doing, doing, man? I'm doing good, man. Right. Here at the office, I just had a note here to say, hey, give me a call, see how the family are doing. So this is... Um, a really, really good intro. Um, the uh, uh, the agent says, hey, this is XYZ agent. This is my name. Hey, this is Cyrus. And then they say, wait, uh, who? You know, hey, this is Cyrus from, you know, our company. Oh, uh, okay. You, hey, the real estate agent, you know, right? So, so again, like I want to try to go with the most familiar response first and then break it down from there. Um, I thought that was a really good intro. Um, but then he says, he says, uh, I had a note here saying, give a call to see how him and his family are doing. Um, I don't want to tell the client that I'm following up with that I have a note to follow up with him. I want to tell him something more like I thought about you and wanted to call and say hello and see how you and the family are doing. Right. That's more personable. That makes me feel if I'm getting that call, I'm going to feel like you thought about me versus, oh, hey, someone reminded you or you had a note to remind you because you didn't think about me instead of that, right? Um, so let's continue with that. How's everything been, man? Uh, well, right now, we're the same old, same old. Yeah, I hear that for sure. Everything's yeah, all good, thanks. though? Everybody's all healthy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's good. Yeah, for sure. That's the most important part right now, man. Everybody's staying safe, staying healthy. Um, I know I know nothing's probably changed, but I just wanted to call back, follow up, and just check in, see how you guys are doing. Um, I never want to say I know nothing has probably changed. Right? Um, I'm not going to give them a objection, right? Right off the bat. I want to say something like, I just wanted to check in on you, right? Um, if you say, I know nothing has probably changed, what are they going to say? They're going to agree and say, yeah, nothing has changed. But if you say, hey, I just want to check in on you, see how things are going, then from there, you can continue the same exact conversation, right? So we'll continue. All right. How's, how's business? How's the, the market doing? It's, it's, it's doing all right, man. I just closed the escrow on a property about two weeks ago. Um... So that's nice. good. You know, we're, we're still selling some properties. We're still getting listings. But, you know, it's, it's obviously, you know, you know, it's a little difficult right now with the interest rates being so high and, you know, the banks, the, the banking systems kind of being all in turmoil. So it's just it's been kind of weird. But, we're you know, we're weathering the storm right now. Okay. So I personally... Um, when someone asks me how the business is going, I'm going to say business is great. It's booming. A lot of people are buying and selling right now. So that's great. Um, then if they ask, oh, how are the interest rates uh, affecting you? How are the, how's the banking system? So on and so forth. Then I'll answer those questions in an educated manner. Um, I don't ever want to say uh, it's hard. Interest rates are being, with the interest rates being so high and banking system in turmoil. Again, I am throwing them a bone for objections. I'm basically telling them, hey, if you don't want to object already from when I said, I know nothing has probably changed, let me give you another objection to send at me. Why don't you tell me the interest rates are too high? Why don't you tell me the banking system's in turmoil, right? The reality is, is that every single time someone buys or sells a property, it's based on a personal preference and personal needs. It's not always all of the factors that are going on around. Maybe those will add to why they want to buy or sell now. But the reality is people transact homes because they need to transact homes, right? So when someone asks me, how's the business going? I'm telling them the business is great. A lot of people are buying and selling right now. So that's great. I don't want to talk about fear. We want to comfort our clients and not scare them, right? We want to stay in the positive and, and go from there, right? So let's listen to the rest of the call. All right. 
what about you though, man? How how how's uh, everything going with you and work? Uh good, working good. Uh, so yeah, we keep going. We for should sure. get new stuff. Oh. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Hey man, if you're ever free in the next coming weeks, man, love to take you out to dinner. You know you. And um, if you guys, you know, we're up for it. I'd love to take you guys out, get to know each other a little bit more, you know, so whenever that, t that time does come, you know, I'd love to help you out in the future. So right there, I always talk about this, right? If I haven't met with them since I saw them at an open house, it's a lot of commitment to commit to a dinner, right? Um, it's a couple hours. You don't know how long it is. You don't know if you're going to enjoy it, so on and so forth. So typically I'll sit there and say, Hey, do you want to grab coffee instead of dinner? Right? So, um, rather than offering dinner or lunch, to meet with them the first time, maybe offer coffee to meet with them the first time. You'll have a higher um, close rate on that. Let's see how this call finishes out. I will say, but thank you, so. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, I'll just give you a call in maybe a few weeks, you know, and just check in, see how you're doing there, man. And like I said, you know, dinner's always on me, man. Just let me know if you guys are ever available. All right, no problem. All right, cool, brother. Hey, well, thanks All for right, talking thanks. to me. Have, have a good day, man. You too. All right. um, I think that that call at the end, it ended very well. I think that he said he said he's going to touch base with him again when he realized he wasn't going to close him for a dinner or anything like that. Um, I think that that whenever you get off the phone with the client, you have to prepare them for the next call. I think that the agent did that very well. Again, coffee instead of dinner will be, you'll probably have a higher close rate because you notice that that, that um, client was kind of like, yeah, okay, I'm busy, but we'll figure it out, right? If he would ask for coffee, you probably would have had a higher close rate. Other than that, great call, and um, yeah, until uh, next time. There is a link in the description in order to sign up for Red X. It will give you $150 off signing up for Red X. What is Red X? Red X is the single most useful tool in my business. It has created thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in commissions for me. It has created so many relationships that have led to transactions. This is the tool that every single real estate agent needs. I use it to call expireds. I use it to call pre-foreclosures. I use it to call for rent by owners, for sale by owners. I even use it to geofarm neighborhoods. When I'm sitting in an open house and the open house is dead, I geofarm the neighborhood and invite the neighbors over. This business is about creating relationships. This business is about connecting with more people. And Red X is the tool that's going to connect you with the most amount of people the fastest way. So again, the link is inside the description in order to sign up and get $150 off signing up. Go download it. Thank you for listening to Cyrus's podcast.